Good morning, Casa community. It is me, Mr. Lesher. And me, Lily Lesher, here on February 24th, 2021. Giving you everything you need to know for the Casa community. But Lily, where should we go first before our awesome segments? Let's start with Roxy with the weather. Take it away, Roxy. in a low of 44 degrees. It's going to be sunny back to you, the last time in Lily. Thank you so much, Roxy, for that great weather forecast. So, Lily, who's celebrating a special birthday? On the 22nd, we had Caroline in Mr. Moran's class and Madison in fourth grade. On the 23rd, we had Hayden in third grade, and today we have a special teacher birthday, Ooh. Mr. Moran. All right, well, happy birthday to you, Mr. Moran. And did you know today, Mr. Moran, your birthday is on National Tortilla Chip Day? That's awesome. So let us enjoy a tortilla chip to you, Mr. Moran. Mm. Let's go now to Mr. Lesher with today's African American History Moment. Me. Hey Casa community, up next for our African American history moment of the day is from our very own quote of the day expert, Ethan Johnson. He's going to share with us all about the famous athlete, Jesse Owens. Enjoy! Hi, I'm Ethan Johnson and today I'm going to teach you about Jesse Owens. James Cleveland Owens was born on September 12th. 1913 in Oakville, Alabama. He was known for being a track and field athlete and being the first ever American to win four gold medals in the Olympics. Before he was a star on the USA national track and field team, he was working on a farm with his family. James's nickname was JC, which his teacher confused with Jesse, which is how he got his name. Then in 1934, he went to college at Ohio State University. He was the first ever in his family to attend college. After he made it on the Ohio State track and field team, he was made captain of the team after he had led them to victory in the 1934 Big Ten Conference track and field meet. He set many records, including one that was a 220-yard dash in 20.3 seconds. That was a world record. In 1935, he married Minnie Ruth Solomon. The two of them had three children together. In July 1936, Jesse Owens tried out for the Olympic team and made it on. He will be competing in the Olympic Games in Berlin, Germany. That was when he set a world record and became the first American to win four gold medals in the Olympics. Throughout his life, Jesse Owens traveled the world and did many things. He wrote a book and even was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom, which is the highest honor that the United States gives. On March 31st, 1980, Jesse Owens passed away in his own home because of lung cancer, but he is still known to be one of the best professional track athletes that the world has ever seen. Thank you for listening. Thank you so much, Ethan, for sharing us all about Jesse Owens. So up next with our word of the day from Keenan Elson is a word that connects directly to Jesse Owens because without this word, I don't think he could have been as great as he was. Take it away, Keenan. Hi, class community. I'm Keenan and I'm here to teach you the finished word of the day. Today's word of the day is perseverance, which means not giving up even when something is difficult. Learning how to change gears on my bike is hard, but through perseverance, I know I can now easily do it. La palabra del día hoy en español es perseverancia, lo que significa no darse por vencido incluso cuando algo es difícil. Aprender a cambiar marcha en mi bicicleta fue difícil, pero gracias a perseveración Ahora puedo hacerlo fácilmente. Fun fact, the name of the Mars rover is Perseverance. Thanks for listening, Casa community. Bye! Well, Casa community, we have a special treat for you today. We have a guest DIY segment for you from Jackson Lyons. Now, Jackson Lyons not only is a great personality, but he also is a big Pittsburgh Penguins fan, and he does some really cool origami. So check out this origami and future ones that come later in the week. Take it away, Jackson. 
Hello Cost community, welcome back to another DIY video. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make a paper claw. Um, so you can look like the real life Wolverine. Let's get started. This part is a little tricky because the paper starts to get um, a little bit thicker. Then you're gonna want to unfold it, and it's okay if it's like that. No, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, but after that, you're gonna take one of these ends and fold it like this. Don't fold it like this because um, you can't make it, obviously. But you're just gonna want to take it to that fold that we did. So then you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna take this side, not the side with um not the side that's like folded, so you see you see um this and this. You're gonna wanna take this side and just fold it to where that line is. Okay. And then, you're basically just done. There's gonna be a little pocket right there. And then, you're just gonna wanna um, put your finger in like that. And yeah, and then. Yeah, so you can look like the wolverine if you if you like the wolverine but yeah um that's um the video and back to you mr lusher casa community the special segments today are in full effect we next have alina vasquez who's going to sing us a beautiful song about the trojan war showing all the great things she's learning about in miss thuku's english class take it away alina in the legend of Trojan War, warriors from Messenium kingdoms sailed across the Aegean to attack Troy in the city of Anatolia. The ten-year conflict ended when the Greeks tricked Trojans into accepting gifts. A larger wooden horse Greek hid in the horse and opened up the city gates. The Greek army entered and burned Troy to the ground. The Greek army entered and burned Troy to the ground. Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? 
Did you know we have a Did You Know show? We have a Did You Know show. So let's go watch our Did You Know show. Hey Molly, what's your favorite type of bug? I like the ladybugs. I do too. Did you know the ladybug spots get lighter as they get older? Well, I did not know that. Yeah, and when a ladybug is flying, it can beat its wings 85 times a second. Wow, that's a lot of flapping. Yep, it is. Okay, I'm going to go now. Bye, Molly. Bye, Molly. Hey, Casa community. Up next is Joking with Jax. He, too, is celebrating Tortilla Chip Day with an awesome joke. Take it away, Jax. Hey, Casa community. What's up? Welcome to Joking with Jax and a snack. What type of triangle is a tortilla chip? And I saw Celeste. <laughs> would you rather watch the Would You Rather or would you rather watch the Would You Rather? Me and my chip would love to watch the Would You Rather. So let's go watch the Would You Rather. Look as a community, are you ready for your daily dose of Would You Rather? I sure am. So Laura, would you rather be a police officer or a doctor? I think being a doctor would be more fun than a police officer because you have a pretty high risk of dying being a police officer. True. Okay, Lisa, now it's my turn. Would you rather have a car that goes underwater or that can fly? I would say underwater because supposedly only 5% of the ocean has been discovered, so I would love to go underwater. Okay. <laughs> we would love to hear what you would rather do, so go ahead and share those in the comments. See you tomorrow, Casa, for more Would, would You Rather. rather? Hey guys, welcome back to How to Draw. Today I'm going to be drawing a cake. This was suggested by Karthik and Harika in the comments. I hope I pronounced that right. If I didn't, I'm very sorry. Um, so let's get started. So first of all, you draw a, for the first layer, you draw a curved, so a straight line that curves up at the top a little bit and goes across, and then another one down. And then I like to draw the plate, so draw a line that comes out and curves around. That would be an oval if you were to connect it, but don't connect it. And then draw a curved line at the bottom of the cake that follows the curve of the plate. And then draw just some a wavy line going across for dripping icing. I, you don't have to do the dripping icing, but I love to do that. So, So for the second layer, draw a line on either side that goes straight up. And then another line that curves straight across, pretty much the same as the first. And then some more icing. And for the third layer, draw two smaller lines and then another curved one. And you can add icing, but you don't have to because it's smaller. And then I like to draw a candle. So draw two straight lines up that are about as long as the black part of the pencil tip and then um, just a straight line on top and then a little wisp kind of it can just be a circle or it can be like a teardrop shape for the light in the candle and some stripes and yeah and then I like to add a rim to the plate just because plates usually have rims <laughs> they don't always though so yeah now all you have to do is color it I hope you guys enjoyed this video see you next time bye Well, Casa community, my favorite Riddler and yours is back, Miss Lily Lesher, with the Riddle of the Day. Me and my chip. Hello and good morning, Casa community. Welcome or welcome back to the Riddle of the Day. Thank you so much to our special guest, Evelise, for doing the riddles last week. Now, last Friday's riddle was... One night, a butcher, a baker, and a candlestick maker go to a hotel. When they get the bill, however, there's f it's for four people. Who's the fourth person? One night is the last or fourth person. Thank you so much to Ethan Johnson and Harika for commenting down below. We enjoy your support in the comments, and thank you also for commenting about the Would You Rather and the how to draw it. 
Now, today's riddle is, a man is trapped in a room. The room has only two possible exits, two doors. Through the first door, there is a room constructed from the magnifying glass. The blazing hot sun instantly fries anything or anyone that enters. Through the second door, there is a fire-breathing dragon. How does the man escape? Comment down below what you guys think the answer is, and I'll be sharing it tomorrow. Bye now! Well, let's wrap up this awesome Wednesday with a quote from Ethan Johnson from comedian Mickey Rooney. Hi, Casa community. This is Ethan bringing your quote of the day. Your quote today was said by Mickey Rooney, a famous actor. What he said was, you always pass failure on your way to success. What this means is that not everything goes right on the first try. You have to keep trying until you get it right. What things do you have to keep trying at? Buen dia! Well, thank you very much, Ethan, for those words of wisdom. And on behalf of myself, Mr. Lesher. And me, Lily Lesher. We want to thank you for watching our newscast today on Tortilla Chip Day. Bye, everybody. Bye. Have a great Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs>